hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you this type of manipulation work and i'll show you how to do that and all the process step by step and that's why this tutorial will be lengthy so at first i use this one and i use a font and i'll give you that font download link in my video description and after that the credits and other stuffs and then the color that is the color filter and i'll give you the color code to you for your using purpose and here the color lookup that is like uh, the foggy night and other steps and then i used here the cross processing and here the lights and the rains and then model with the wings and then the background so i have done lots of things over here so background like that so model like that so model then rain light and then finally i got this so i'll show you all the things step by step so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications go to the file and open up here is the model which is i downloaded from devianna.com and for your practice purpose i just cut it out from the background that means i got this one like that so i'll provide you this file so you can use that and let's start go to the file and go to the new options and i'll take a background which is like uh, 1280 and 1920 and resolution 300 pixel per inch and rgb color mode and white and no bleed and other things will be like that and hit the create button you'll get a uh, background which is the white color background and then go to the file and place embedded options from here i'll just insert this one go to the place options and before make it bigger you have to cut it out so go to the selection and rectangular tool and make selection like that and delete this one before that you have to make it restylize and delete this one press ctrl d for the deselect and go to the quick selection tool and select here it will be select and i'll delete this sky from here press ctrl d for the deselect and you can place it in the downside of the window here you have to delete this portion as well yeah select this layer and delete this one yeah that's fine and now i'll take ash color background go to the solid color take this type of ash color that's fine and i'll delete this one that's good and then i'll file and place embedded options and here is my sky i downloaded this one from debianna.com and i'll give you that download link in my video description as well so place it out and right press and restylize the layer and go to the adjustment layer and go to the brightness and contrast and make the brightness and contrast like that the sky will be popped up that's fine then select here and here go to the file and place embedded option and here is another sky which is uh, like that and make it bigger and place it over here yeah that's fine and then right press and restylize the layer and opacity make it down so that's good and then again go to the adjustment layer and the uh, solid color and take a color which is like that and make it soft light yeah you can use any kind of color so you can take help my color code so here is my color code i could take this one from here so i use this color this color code copy this one and just you can paste it out so cross it and go to here and ctrl v and hit ok yeah that's fine and opacity make it down that's good and go to the solid color again and i'll take another color which is like that and make it soft light yeah that's fine make the opacity down yeah that's good and after that go to the adjustment and brightness and contrast and make the brightness down you yeah, know that's good that's good and here select the mask and go to the brush tool and brush it over so that's good so that's fine and now i'll just take this one that means the girl wings and other stuffs and just place it over here 
so press ctrl t make it smaller i'll provide you this girl png so don't be tensed up and it will help you out to your practice purpose so that's fine so you can make it like that yeah that's good and hit the tick button now here is lots of work so i'll make it group and yeah and give the name that is girl and i'll select all the things background and give the name bg so here is some lines and other stuffs you have to delete this out so delete this one yeah that's good and i'll work with this background so and turning off the girl option select the bg and select this one that means this stone go to the filter and blur gallery and tilt shape blur so from here i'll just blur it out and give yeah that's good and hit a ok button that's fine and now i'll turn it off the girl which is like that so here i'll e apply the dodge and man here is the wings i'm turning off the wings select this background that means this girl actually so press ctrl j it will copy and select this girl press the ctrl button and uh, select the layer or the picture and then go to the edit options and go to the fill options and 50 percent gray select from here yeah that's fine and press ctrl d for the deselect and go to the blending mode and make it overlay and now i'll apply the dodge and burn process so how to do that what is dodge and what is burn oh, dodge and burn shadow and highlighting burn is for the shadow and dodge is for the highlighting so i need more shadow over here so here actually this area this area as well so here and here is the dodge options so i'll just dodge the area which will be highlighted and the burn area the white color will be like that yeah that's fine and the dodge area will be like that so be careful when you are just making it out before and after yeah that's fine why just i given here the shadow and highlighting i'll use a fake light over here so i'll take a new blank layer and go to the foreground color and take the color which is like uh, yellowish and go to the brush and select once for that you have to make the opacity 100% and flow 100% and select once and go to the blending mode and make it screen and press ctrl T and it's you have to make it more bigger yeah that's fine and now turn on the like uh, wings here and here now I'll add another dodge and burn for the wings so take a new blank layer and right press and create clipping mask after that go to the edit options and go to the fill same process 50 percent gray color and hit ok and blending mode into change overlay and then go to the dodge and burn options so burn option so this portion will be more like that and dodge portion like will be like that so another thing go to the adjustment layer and go to the hue saturation make it mask and make it a little bit desaturate so before after yeah that's fine saturation press ctrl j and take it in these wings that means these wings so make it like a create clipping mask that's fine and then here take a new blank layer and which is mask and go to the edit option go to the fill color and make it 50 percent gray fill and overlay options make the blending mode and now i will apply the dodge burn in that like wings so here is the dodge and here is burn options so that's fine select here as well that's fine here this area that's good this area and this area as well that's good and now time for the shadow so select here and take a new blank layer and i'll use shadow so make it reset the foreground and background color and go to the brush options and make the brush size smaller 
and make the opacity like uh, 30 or 35 or 40 percent that's for cool for this one and just draw over here so just draw here as well so when you're drawing be careful take this shadow option into this portion and this portion actually and i'll make it clip clipping mask so here as well yeah that's fine so that's good so shadow is done and here i'll make it smaller like that yeah that's good and go to the file and place embedded options here is some flying papers i'll use one of them so here is the flying papers place it like that press ctrl t make it smaller like that yeah that's fine the paper will be like that actually this paper i used so just place it out and go to the lasso tool and select this one actually like that so press ctrl j and rest of the thing i'll delete so take this one actually select this one press ctrl t and make it smaller like that and place it in this portion yeah that's fine so that's good and here i'll use another shadow and go to the like paint tool and brush tool and brush it out and i'll cut it out so how to do that go to the lasso tool and to make it like that yeah just delete this one yeah like tone pepper so go to the blending mode and use the top shadow the drop shadow settings will be like that yeah that's fine hit, hit okay yeah that's good and now just group it out group it out and now i'll use the color that is i used here so copy that from the adjustment layer go to the solid color like that and make it overlay or soft light is good yeah that's fine and now all the thing is good and yeah that's fine now i'll add rain so how to add rain go to the file and place emitter options here is a color like that and make it bigger like that and hit the tick button and make it into screen and right press and restylize the layer and go to the filter and the blur and motion blur so make the blur like that and make it like that yeah that's good and here you can move this one yeah that's fine that's good and select these three things make it group and light yeah those are the light and now i'll write down the write up like that so here is fairy and i'll copy this one i'll provide you the font so don't be tensed up i'm just copying the font name i'll give you that font to you for your practice purpose so here go to the text tool and select once and write down here fairy like that and yeah right press and go to the blending options from here here is a portion that is a gradient like that so gradient color will be like yellowish yellowish and the dark so you can adjust this one like that yeah that's fine the drop shadow so use the drop shadow two type drop shadow i used here so this drop shadow will be like that the long type drop shadow and decrease the opacity yeah that's fine so you can use any kind of color over here so it's up to you and here i use the credits or other stuff so here are some credits here is the credits and make it smaller like that and just blending mode into screen yeah that's good and now select these two things the text that's good and select all the things and make it a screenshot and after that go to the filter and the neat collection and color effects pro 4 so this color effects pro 4 is a plugins of the photoshop if you want to get the download link please check out my video description so it will help out to download 
so from here i'm using the cross processing and there are lots of method you can use one of them it will make your photographs more amazing or your yeah that's fine so here you can use which one is perfect for your photo yeah i'll use this one and hit the ok button so it's taking time to load it up and give you the output final output actually yeah go to the adjustment layer and go to the levels from here i'll adjust the light and other stuffs and it will make more amazing so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and until the next video i am mean, so signing out today and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to get the download link of the resource file please check out my video description thank you so much